is Parkdale's MP. She's the MP in our heart. She's the MP in our spirit. She's the MP in our soul. She's the former MP and, if we're lucky, the next to be MP. Needing no introduction, our Peggy Nash. is here tonight because, like me, you care about our city, and you're here tonight because you want to do something about it. You know, I, I didn't really know Gord well before he got elected as our city councillor, but uh, Gord, it's been an amazing opportunity to get to know you. I've, I've found you to be somebody who responds to the community, whether it's pile driving, driving people crazy. Uh, or whether it's uh, uh, investing in our community in Sororan Park and the Field House, whether it's rolling up your sleeves and getting your hands dirty, not just showing up for a photo op, uh, but actually working with the community, or whether it's tonight when you told me that you were moved to tears when you toured the Ed Edmund U uh, uh, facility, the home right across our street here. Uh, it's a pleasure to get to know you and to work with you. And, and others have talked about the amazing work that, that Gord has done. But we know that there's a lot of work that still needs to be done. Uh, uh, Gord has, like I have, been out at the corner of King and Jameson on a, on a weekday morning at about 6 o'clock, 6.30, <coughs> and seen people going off to work that takes an hour and a half to get across town, often to just a minimum wage job, or they're getting picked up by a white van going off to see if perhaps there's contract work that day. And Gord, I know because of your strong environmental credentials, and I know you carry that so strongly in your heart, I know that you do not want to see 400 plus diesel trains coursing through our neighborhood that will mean that our kids will have alongside their sandwiches in their lunch boxes a puffer that they have to take to school because of the pollution from those diesel trains. And unlike our current MP who says, well, I'll talk to Metrolinx and we'll see what they have to say about it when we know they're saying they're not going to do anything, it's up to the province of Ontario. We know that Gord has another vision. That Gord's vision, rather than cutting $4 billion from transit in our city, which is going to mean that the lines that we most need built for transit, we know that Gord's vision is to invest in clean transit that unites our city, that gets us to the airport or wherever else we want to go around this city, in fact, unite our country with clean, green, electric transit. That is Gord's vision for our city. And we also know that Gord's vision for our city is not that people have to travel from one end of the city to the other to find a minimum wage job or throw, show up in the morning to a contractor and maybe they get work and the contractor takes half their pay. We know that Gore's vision for this city is that we have good paying, decent jobs that people can count on, that pay good family supporting wages with benefits, with a, with a good sound uh, workplace, good working conditions that people can rely on. We know that's Gore's vision for the city, uh, and that's the kind of vision we want to see at City Hall. And I know that I know you're all here tonight because we want to support Gore. We want to see him return to City Hall. But you know, we have three elections over the next year, probably. The first one likely is the city election. It's going to be very important who we elect as city councillors and who we elect as mayor. And uh, I see we have Joe Cantalone with us here this evening. Thank you, Joe, for 
coming and supporting one of our uh, one of our stars in the community. And so I'm here tonight. I'm asking you, will you commit not just to vote for Gord Perk, but I'm asking you, will you commit? to donate to Gord Perks? Will you commit to talk to your friends and neighbors about Gord Perks? Will you commit to work for Gord Perks? Will you commit to make sure that in the next municipal election, we elect Gord Perks and our progressive mayor to represent the city of Toronto and 